Let's talk about how the internet works in your house. What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how the internet works in your house. Now, first things first, shout out to everybody that's been going through my IT fundamentals and my A plus course. If you're brand new to IT and you want to learn this stuff for free 99, just go hit the playlist on my channel. I have an IT fundamentals course and I have a full blown A plus course to get you guys up to speed with the wonderful world of IT so that you can go out there and make the big bucks, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with that course material. Now, if you have been going through that course material and you've heard me talking about terms such as switches, access points, routers, modems, cable, DSL, fiber, et cetera, et cetera, and you're like, okay, I hear all this stuff, but exactly how does all this stuff mesh together to make the internet possible? Well, I'm going to show you guys with my handy dandy Picasso skills in this video as to exactly how all of this actually works in the most simplified manner that I can think of without going into extreme grave detail. All right. So I'm going to tell you how the internet works and you're going to learn it and you're going to enjoy it. So let's get into this video. All right, so in your home, you more than likely have a smartphone, some type of tablet, or maybe even a laptop that you use for wireless internet connectivity so you can get out there and live your best life surfing these internet streets. Also in your house, you may have a laptop or a desktop computer that may be hardwired to your wireless router in your house. So this is typically what you will find in the average household. You will find mobile devices and you'll find desktop computers, right? So these devices, they are connected to a device called a switch. And this is a switch right here that is being represented by a little square with two arrows going in opposite directions. Also, if you're using mobile, you may have another device called an access point or a wireless access point. Also, there is another device called a router, which is represented by this circle right here that has arrows going up and down and left and right. And then there is another device called a modem which is going to be represented by this device we'll just put MD for modem and then you have the internet which is represented by this cloud looking thing over here all right so these are the basic components for how the internet works which allows for you to press the enter key on your keyboard and go way over here to watch a YouTube video like Tech G so how does all this work so like I said we got a mobile device which is your wireless device. And what this does, your wireless device, it connects to this access point right here. This access point is then physically connected by way of a Cat5 cable to the switch. If you have a desktop computer with a wire hanging out of it, that's called a Cat5 cable, it is hardwired to the switch as well. And then you have your switch that is hardwired to the router. And then you have your router that is hardwired to your modem. And then you have your modem, you know, we're just gonna use this little squiggly line here to represent that it's going out there to the great internet so it can retrieve whatever content you're looking for, okay? Now how this directly relates to your house is you guys more than likely don't have a separate switch, you don't have a separate access point, and you don't have a separate router. These three devices right here are typically combined into what is called a Soho router, small office, home office router, or your wireless router as you guys all know it. So you guys go look at your wireless router. You might see some antennas hanging off of it. You'll see a couple ports on there. And then you see another port that has some type of Cat5 cable or something hanging out of it. That is your wireless router. Basically in a Soho environment, it combines all of those elements into one device to save you money and save you space. All right, so how this works is like this, ladies and gentlemen. So you're on your mobile phone, you're over here pressing buttons, you're on your laptop, you're over here pressing buttons because you wanna see amazon.com over here or you wanna watch a YouTube video over here, right? That's what you're out here doing, trying to live your best life, right? So as you're pressing buttons, you're actually sending a bunch of ones and zeros, ones and zeros across the ether or across the wire, ones and zeros. They're physically moving across these mediums right here. If you're on mobile, your ones and zeros travel through the air and they hit this access point, which then converts to ones and zeros 
cables to put them on a physical wire and send them down into the switch. If you're on a hardwired connection like a PC and you're pressing buttons to get access to YouTube or Amazon or Google, it sends those ones and zeros directly into the switch. And what the switch actually does, the switch says, hey, I recognize both of these devices. They're allowed to be in this network. I'm going to let you communicate to try to get on out here to the wild, wild internet, right? Now, everything from the switch back to your mobile devices, this is called your LAN, your local area network. Your switch manages all the devices within your network that are trying to reach out and communicate with the internet. And how it recognizes this stuff is by it has, it keeps essentially a record of the MAC addresses that are associated with these devices. Now, after it collects all the ones and zeros saying, hey, I want to go out there and reach the internet, it then passes it off to the router. The router then takes those ones and zeros and says, hey, you want to go to Amazon? You want to go to YouTube? Okay, let me slap a quote unquote destination label on top of these ones and zeros. So I guess the best way you could think of this, think of this like a package that you are dropping off at the post office that you're trying to mail to a friend. You box the package up inside the box are all your ones and zeros. At the post office, they go ahead and print a label out, slap a label on the box and throw it in the back to prepare for it to be shipped. This is what the router essentially does it takes your ones and zeros that have been handed off from the switch and prepares it to get a destination label slapped on it so your ones and zeros can go to their appropriate destination so that you can interact with the internet so after the router does that, the router then sends that information to the modem and modem stands for modulate demodulate. So what the modem actually does, depending upon the type of internet connection that you are paying for that's coming into your house, it's going to take those ones and zeros that have been packaged up by the router and put them in the digital equivalent of an Amazon blue truck. So you're like, wait a second, what do you mean? So when the Amazon guy goes to pick up your packages from the warehouse, they put the packages into the Amazon blue truck. And next thing you know, you see the Amazon blue trucks driving all around the city to deliver the packages. This is what the modem essentially does. Now, how this works is like this. So you may have a fiber connection. You may have cable internet. You may have DSL. You may have satellite or you may have RF line of sight or radio frequency internet. Depending upon what type of internet connection that you have that you are paying for to go to your house is going to determine the speeds that your ones and zeros are going to travel back and forth across the internet. So you could think of it like this. Here we are at the Amazon warehouse or the post office and we're getting ready to ship these packages out, our ones and zeros that are in the box with their shipping label on it, right? If we have satellite internet, just imagine that I'm taking my package of ones and zeros and I'm putting them inside of a garbage truck that can only travel 45 miles per hour. Well, the garbage truck signifies my internet connection and the 45 miles per hour signifies as to how fast my connection can actually push the ones and zeros across the wire for me to establish connection with whatever website that I'm trying to interact with. And we all know garbage trucks are pretty slow and the slowest internet connection up on here would be satellite. So think of satellite as your garbage truck. Now, let's just say you have a fiber connection. Well, just imagine you're going into the modem or you're going into your garage and you see a Ferrari sitting in the garage. Well, Ferraris are pretty fast vehicles. So just imagine that your fiber connection is the Ferrari and you you throw your packages into the Ferrari and you want to get your packages across town. Let's just imagine that there are no speed limits on the highway. Well, that Ferrari is going to be able to get up and get it at really fast speeds in comparison to that of a garbage truck, a.k.a. your satellite connection. So essentially, the modem is basically the means for how fast it's going to allow your ones and zeros to travel across the wire so that you can interact with whatever website that you're trying to interact with. By the time you hit the enter button on your computer and you request to watch a YouTube video and by the time that thing comes back to you so you can watch that video, your modem and your Internet connection are going to dictate how fast those speeds are actually moving. OK. And then finally, everything that's within this blue line right here, this represents your actual network right here. 
This is your actual network that you are trying to get to communicate with another network out here somewhere, whatever website that you're trying to visit and do whatever it is that you're trying to do on the internet. All right. So this is just a very simple explanation as to how the internet works. I'm not trying to go into super detail about how to program all this stuff up. I just want those of you who are new to IT just to understand what these components actually do. So we have our mobile device. We have our desktop computer. Our desktop computer has a hardwired connection to the switch. Our mobile device is connected to an access point. The access point is hardwired to a switch. The switch is then hardwired to a router and the router is connected to the modem. The switch pretty much controls all the devices that are trying to connect to the internet. The router essentially takes the ones and zeros that these devices are transmitting and slaps destination labels on the ones and zeros so that your ones and zeros can reach their appropriate destination to whatever website that they're trying to go to. The modem is based basically the means of transportation for how fast your ones and zeros are going to be traveling across the wire, depending upon what type of internet connection you have coming to your house. If you have fiber, you have the fastest internet connection possible. If you have satellite, you have probably the slowest internet connection possible. So that is essentially what the modem does. But like I said earlier, most of you guys don't have a separate access point. You don't have a separate switch. You don't have a separate router. Most of y'all probably just have a wireless router and a modem in your house and the access point to switch in the router. These things are typically combined to form what is called a SoHo router or a small office home office router. So in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, this is essentially how the internet works in a very super simplified explanation. So hopefully you learn something from this. In the future, I'll probably be making more videos explaining how each of these actual components work in a little bit more detail. But this is really just for those of you who are just learning about IT and you've been watching my videos and my IT fundamentals course or my A plus course, and you've been hearing me throw these terms around access points, switches, routers, modems. Well, this is how all of these components actually come together, which allow for you to communicate with the internet through your phone or through your laptop or through your desktop computer. All right, so that is my quick little class explaining how a local area network with inside of your house actually connects to the internet to allow for you to enjoy surfing the internet to do whatever it is that you do out there on these internet streets. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you begin a career in IT. So until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.